Hi back again. We start with texturing the house that we made last time. And as we see uh, that are walls, simply we start with that. So um, at first plus new, give them a name. So we call it wall. Then we have to make a material. So we make here space for the node editor that we need. Then we make here space for the UV image editor that we need. We can close the panel with N. And then we bring here up all that we need. So that means we add here an principal shader connect them with the surface then we add here an input texture coordinates then we take here a vector mapping and we take here texture image texture so then we take the UV with the vector get here the texture get here from vector to vector and from color to color open up our texture from our Saint Michel folder uh, wrong one we have too much I think so yeah and we take that stone wall material we see it here now in the preview and we have to place them there where it should be we must now look where it is overall I think here at the down part there is nothing from the wall only at the top two stages okay so top two stages front view then face selection and we select the front from the two stages there and hit U to unwrap and give them a project from view and say wall sign then we can scale here in the UV image editor pressing S and we have that stone wall there same we do at the back side we mark the faces from the top two stages there so then hit you project from view but here we can take the other ones with us because nobody sees them later that's under the niveau of the street later so you from you wall sign scale down good then we take the sides so we can take that side and that side here too so hit you project from view what happens here don't know why there are no texture wall oh, okay was not signed there so we have to select them again good so you project from you scale down in the UV image editor and then that is done <laughs> but you not know, what is that wrong material oh yeah oh okay good so we have that file save now we need um, the roof oh we've forgotten the roof needs this um 
yeah needs another material so we make here two parts of roof so plus new give them name roof one and we copy the whole notes so we go to wall material make here a little bit more space a to select all control c to copy the material then we go to the roof material press x to delete all control v to put in the other ones I'll make you here screencast keys on so you can see what i press here good here we need the other roof material so we open up the texture folder here and take these other roof tiles that one that we make here on the front and the back so hit U project from U roof 1 sign and scale them here down now we have there this one but we need it for this faces too so hit you again project from view roof sign scale down here and that is also done and as you see at the original pictures uh, you see there there is this texture and here is another roof texture see it also here that is the tiles and then comes this metal thing there on the top so we make them now plus new call it roof 2 delete here all by pressing X then control V to plug in the sample nodes then open up texture folder and we take the texture for this metal roof yeah let's see here file save uh, we make it from top view so we take here all the faces numpad 7 U from view roof 2 sign and then scale here down so we have that and that fits then with the rest there good we have done that too So this has roof tiles here too on this edges there. So we have to bring there the roof tiles on. That means we take this faces and hit U for that one and take there the roof one and you see that directly fits with them only that left because that is smaller and another one that was copied with shift D so that doesn't change with them but we made the same from U and go to roof one sign good this changed the other ones too because we copied them with all D so um, the next step is we need class so new call it class and simply take here class shader that's all that we must search here so that means when we take here with L the back rounds then we have select the class so we can say plus class sign so now they have all class inside only that must be changed L class sign good 
so that clause class is done file save must look which material that port there have there's a brown brown something and the rest is white okay so I think that is a wood material so we take a plus new and call it wood um, X press here to delete all control V to plug in the sample nodes open up texture folder then we take here brown wood material I think that can work yes then we take that around but not the window itself it's only the others so that here that and that's it only the inner part should be with them so we hit here you again from you but we take a plus and take the wood material and say sign so wow <laughs> what happens here we don't want to make the class as wood uh, the computer my favorite so I make class there again so good then it should be white windows I think that's like plastic or such so we make a plus new material call it plastic white so here we need only then a glossy shader and the high roughness good we need a diffuse shader also diffuse and a mixer so add uh, shader mix shader and bring that between and then we can have here this material we should give there some roughness too but a light and white so we go here to color and can bring it here more up to have more white stuff there that is maybe here a little bit too much that is too less you can figure that out no problem so we take here all this great stuff and say plastic white sign so that is there too that is good only here it isn't so with L we select that part plus bibliotheque uh, white plastic sign and the rest here we make with this wooden stuff so C circle selection oops that was too much So, uh, we take here this wood, sign, you, project from you, and you can scale it if you want, like you would. Good. That is that. File, save, I must look short the preview. Yeah, that's all that. That is a class there. 
so we have to reselect with L the class and assign that now with this class good file save as give a new version number pour save that good the second window it's white 2 and we need to make this thing around here okay so first we make this window we have selected the class so plus and give them class assign then we select here the frame and there we delete the no, here we make plus and select the white stuff there, plastic white and assign you see which one is selected with them and which not So we must change that two and that three manually. Don't ask me why. I don't know it. Plus class plus white something. Class sign and select inwards plastic sign. Good same with that window there that is plus glass sign plus white plastic and select inverse sign so now should that all be okay uh, we have to make here the stone material too, so we have to select the house and take here all this red stuff normally it's not important because we later make their stones on the sides but better is better and less is less <laughs> nice walk yep. um, so we take that Ooh. so that all is good so we look from the side hit view from view wall sign then we only have to scale down so that looks better so file save again here is a texture missing I see so roof sign that was roof one. Oh yeah so here do you project from you scale down good so file save now we have the top and the bottom parts of these windows that must be textured too so we take here the top and the bottom of the window stuff and the same on the other side Okay. Then we look from top, so numpad seven, U project from U. That should be wall sign and scale that down. So that looks good. File save. This window we have the 
rub there is that these are red ones. I don't change that because I never seen a house where two colors of them are in. So we'll add it like this. Then we see here it is no depth there. So that means we have to bring the depth in. So we mark here the doors there and extrude them backward. So that is good. Then we want to have a bottom in there. So we take here the back line. Incomplete. And extrude them forward. So we have that. We only need here one scale. So scale Y zero. Then we can bring it back into. There we need another texture. Best is a wooden texture for uh, laminate or parquet. So we make a new, call it parquet. Delete here all the notes. Control V, plug in sample notes. Go open the texture folder and take here laminate texture. Yeah, all the textures from texture.com. There you can download it for free. Good. So we must now select them. Look from top, number 7, U. Unwrap from view, packet sign, and then we can scale it here, or you can scale it there in the notes if you want. That's on you. Good. What's that here? That is not good, so we delete that edge there and these two edges too okay good better oh here isn't close the C so we have to F close top view U from view pocket sign and scale down now yeah. Not perfectly, but who cares? Good. File, save. So, next is we must have something behind them that you see some there. Uh, and we must find out which material that is. So, here you see it is a like beton material, concrete material such like that we must search if we have some um, so we make plus call it um, bottom bottom stone eagle X to delete control V to plug in open up texture folder and that can be good or 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 no we we'll take that or that that is good so we we'll take that one then we take the faces hit you project from view bottom stone, sign, scale down. Mm -hmm. So, that should be that. So we can take here all these inner faces now and give them that material 
two. So we can look here from side, hit you, from view, bottom stone, sign, and scale down. Good. Then we need it on the top and the bottom there. So there and there. Top view, number seven, view, project from view. Bottom stone, the sign. Scale down. Done. Good. So we have that too. File save. Next step. Is we need that doors for the second hole there. A six. So we take that here, shift D, because we want to change it, and it comes here and should be 6, and we need here and change, that should be a door, so we have to extrude here the bottom part, so extrude, bring them down, then we bring in there another loop, there and then we can make here the cassettes so we can take them and extrude back to the Y then extrude scale then extrude and bring it out then bring extrude scale and extrude again down so we have that cassette mode there, but extrude scale again and extrude it out one time. That is the cassette style that we want to have. And we need now six of them. So we can take here modifier array modifier and say we want six of them. And then we scale them simply to fit width. So such like that, maybe a little bit smaller. And bring it into. So the special here is that the white plastic is not white plastic. It should be wooden stuff. So we take here is wood material and look from the front tap mark all the wood so select wood and you from view and that should be it you can scale it there then we have that cassette style with all this stuff and it is wood okay File, save. Now, next step is to make pictures in the background that looks like these windows from the shop. So, where we can get it from texture.com. So we take a look what we have in our texture folder. Is there some of this shop pictures? No. So I must take it from my texture folder where I have this was windows shop windows yeah that one looks like this touristic stuff thing there so I copy that 
print that in our texture folder from Saint Michel input and take another one so maybe that one copy and bring it there okay so then we can take them both so we can take here add mesh image as plane then we go to the texture folder and search them so where they are that one it's not correct from the angel, from the cam and such, but who cares? It only must look half the way good. So import as plane. So we have them both there and scale them down. Bring them there behind the windows. I think in this case we change here. That one should be there scale up a little and that here should be more there and is this background there so better is when they at the same high and close up with the bottom best close up with all the sides but that we don't reach I think yeah not optimal but we can't make your each one to perfection that's too much time that we don't have so we must live with some unperfect stuff and that is enough then. So that looks for me good enough. Here we can, what I know, <laughs> white plastic or <laughs> so. Eagle. Oh, white plastic sign. So ready to go. So good. Um, that both should have uh, emission, not a diffuse. So we can delete the diffuse and add here a shader, an emission shader, because the emission shader you see better by baking later. So it has more intense. So I copy that, Control C and bring it here also X to delete that, Control V to plug in that shader with shader, color with color the file save good fast render not so bad but not really good okay so uh, we must um, make a little bit more as we see there there is a frame around the windows it has one two three three spikes there with three others into okay so we take here add well no. add cube so that should be the little one. Then Shift D would take another one and bring them more out. So that is this part, and that we make it three times. So we take here a um, ray modifier, but we take them in the set, not in the X. 
Wow, what did we get? See behind or where? Seems so. So I must find here the right trigger for that. Don't understand why that is like it is. Oh, it's with these shit things there. So I must separate that part. A to deselect all. And then P to separate that selection. And now we have it there. Let me take here zero. And here zero. And here zero. Then. We should have it. Here you see there's the difference. That was the wrong one, so that one must be zero and that must be one. Every time I have problems with that. So that should be this part there and over them comes this big one and down there a big one too. So um we have to go give them materials. So we can take here U cube projection. But we need a material for sure and not a shop material, so minus in object mode. Then plus new Oh <laughs> I deleted the other sample nodes. So we have to do that again. Or plug fast in one of them and copy that. So one material there is all in. A to select all, control C to copy, go to the other material, control V to plug in. And we have that material there. But that isn't the texture that we want, the one material we can delete now. We call that here frame. And we open our image folder and take you some grey stone stuff. Grey stone stuff. Stuff grey. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's it. A little bit rougher than there, but okay. We can scale that up a little so that looks more like that stuff there, but that is okay. And here maybe we take here once more, that was too much, so we take here a zero three. It's too much too. So we take here a zero two. Nope. Then a zero one. Okay, fine. So, yeah, that's good. And we need to top on uh, other one, I said before. So, can take you that one. Shift D. Oh, we have that modifier there. Fucking stuff there. So, back. Okay. We'll let it like it is. And bring that set original to geometry so that is now has its own geometry and we bring it to the windows so now bring it here beside scale it that it fits with them and you see it's really huge I think a little bit too huge so we scale X there. Maybe such like that. Yeah, that is possible. Not too much, not too less. Good. So I take that for all. So all D. There to all D. There to there also all D. Yeah, and for all the other stuff too. Must look that it don't looks 
too much out of the wall so we go a little bit into the Y here also a little bit into okay oh we've got them so all the okay all the good now we need one mirrored so shift D and object apply rotation scale <laughs> fuck it control set go back apply first array here too multi data okay fuck it so mirror interactive mirror bring it to the other side and then all the to all the stuff Same if we need on the back side for that windows there. So we we'll take that one. Oh shift D and go there. Plug it into we see we have to scale that a little. That it fits. With the reference. And plug it there. Good. Then all D. Bring it there. All D. There. And you see we have difference from the space there, so we have to readjust that. All D. There. Then we need a mirrored one, so shift D, object, mirror, interactive, hold middle mouse wheel, move the mouse, left click to accept. Good. Shift D. Hold D. Again, good. So that is done. File save. Now only the top and the bottom things are not there, and we must make it here around the windows. Maybe some wood uh, around there. I don't know how we made that. I think that can look a little bit better when we make there some wooden stuff around there. Good, but we want to make here the top part. So we take that one. Uh, Shift D to copy, then P to separate. <laughs> the selection. Here I need no array so I can take uh, simply that face and bring them out and we have that top uh, yeah bracket that we need uh, we can make them a little bit small from top I think such like that uh, and it needs a new unwrap because we changed size so cube projection new and 
scale that down to size yeah like that and then shift D we make the other one to the bottom and then we have all done there so we can take alt D and place it all over here we have to take another one so shift D and here we can scale X good but here we can take the normal one or the good or the again there and the other ones too so all the down there okay then one of them we need for the back so shift D there we have other sizes so we scale them simply down that it fits and then shift D because each one has your other positions and other leanings and rotate set here a little and see that is all other so we can't take all D by that shift D and shift D good so we have that two five safe the only thing we need is the candle there that we can take from our first house that we made in this project so we open up another blender open up the first house that we made so file open blender Saint Michel house one there it is and so we take that candle with the pipe control C copy that go to the other project Control V plug in and there it is. Good. We look how big that is in proportion to the house. Can be bigger. Yep, such like that. But we must be careful that the pipe comes out the real so we bring that here to the side make it a little bit longer down there and take here to reach the real position there there and we have to close up here so we take that part F to close thanks a lot that can a little bit deeper and look at the end what we got there we need here to make it longer and F to close then we take here one of them L to select shift D to copy make two times or three times or more so we have that then here this falling down part bring it down there l to select one of these rings and shift d bring them out there so we have that done too here 
here on the sides yeah we can take their wood <sighs> I don't know it's exactly what we should or not should we better should make here shift D some of them but rotate set such like that and bring here out in this direction also the stones so that means when we take here a loop in and here a loop in and their shoe then we can take out here this faces extrude bring them out there we take for all this cube unwrap again and scale down now we can plug them onto the side maybe here is a little bit too much So we go here a little bit back. Yeah. Okay. So we can copy that till the bottom. So shift D down there. Shift D and such to the bottom there. Last part. There is too much, so we can select them both and delete them good so the same one we can take for the other edges so I make here a shift D join them together as one and rotate set 90 that is now an edge for the other side there for here good a bit more in maybe yeah okay then shift D for the other side there Okay, a little bit rotate set. Good. Then we take that one, Shift D, and mirror them. So object mirror interactive. Hold middle mouse button, move the mouse, and left click to accept. Good. We have that one. So Shift D, place it there and rotate set 180 degrees rotate set 90 degrees wow rotate set 180 degrees yeah good so that makes a better view for me but save we have now the chance to make here this concrete stuff too or we make the wood round this case I take the wood so I take here a knife and go around here from there to there to there Spacebar to accept that I made for the doors too. So we go from here to there. You can later adjust them, that is not the problem. So you don't must work here exactly as such. 
good then we take a face selection and get this new faces and texture them with wood so we take a view project from view materials we need this wood stuff pocket bottom wall no so plus and take wood sign you see there you can scale it down and then we have wood material there too so I think all in all much is done file save the only thing is the smokers it has three smokers one on this side one there and one there Wow so much smokers and no kitchen in <laughs> oh, was a joke so bad job I know I know cube scale down scale X that can be such one and we take there and scale Y a little scale set a little here yeah. then we hit U for unwrap and say Q projection we say it should be a material plus it should be this wall material and there we have it good this one should be then here too and another one should be there where this crappy shit is yeah I don't know what we made there but okay it is what it is no I must look what is that wow not good so we can take them here and scale set zero so yeah a little bit better but bended but who cares rotate set a little so fine good we we'll let it like this file save here normally comes a little marquees out there maybe we can make that fast on my keys uh, so we take simply that extrude bang print it out bang to color I don't know <laughs> take plus and new and say dark red yes and assign that good that was that I think all in all we have all done so file save and see you in the next tutorial thanks a lot bye